Picture yourself as the commander of your own life, where words are your most formidable allies and your most treacherous foes. Today, we will explore the strategic art of stoic silence, where what you don't say wields the greatest power. I'm going to reveal 10 topics that you, as a modern stoic, should navigate with the utmost caution. These topics are the kind that can turn the tides of your personal empire, for better or for worse. In an era where information is king, your silence is the castle, impenetrable and majestic. And as we explore these realms of unspoken power together, remember, your legacy is defined not just by what you reveal, but by what you wisely choose to keep within. Stay with me, for each subject we'll cover is a step closer to mastering the stoic discipline of strategic discretion. This isn't just advice, it's your shield in a world brimming with wordy warfare. So sharpen your mind for what follows could be the very armor you need in the battles to come. Let's step into the realm of stoic silence together. 1. The quiet goals that motivate you. Inside every man are silent dreams and quiet wishes. Think of the last time a simple pleasure or an untold ambition made your pulse quicken. Maybe it's the guitar collecting dust in the corner, longing for your touch or the joy of an early morning run before the world stirs. These personal embers, often overlooked in the daily grind, are your private fuel. There's a common urge to voice these dreams, to share them, and somehow validate their existence. But caution, spoken too soon, and these dreams might wilt under others' scrutiny or misunderstanding. Not everyone will see the beauty in your desire to play the blues or find peace in the garden's growth. In Stoicism, there's virtue in restraint. Keep these aspirations close to your vest. They are yours to nurture in the quiet corners of your being. When the time is ripe, they will unfold not as mere whispers, but as undeniable extensions of your will. Let these silent aspirations drive you, but only let them speak when they are fully formed, ready to stand tall against the noise of the world. This is the strength of the stoic, the power of the unspoken dream. As whispered by the ancients echoing through the ages, the dreams that dance in the quiet chambers of the heart are the sacred soliloquies of the soul. Consider the enigmatic Socrates, whose thoughts reach us not from his own hand, but through the legacy of his students. His silence has spawned an enduring mystique, a testament to the potency of the unspoken. This serves as a potent allegory for the modern man. In an age where the minutiae of life are broadcasted for all to see, there lies a profound strength in the private. The innermost yearnings, those nascent inklings and half-formed dreams, are delicate. They are the raw materials of your future greatness, not to be squandered in idle chatter. Reflect on this amidst the clamor for transparency and relish the dreams you have yet to reveal. Nurture them in the quietude of your own contemplation. Like fine whiskey aging in a charred oak barrel, let them mellow and mature out of sight. They will emerge not as fleeting ideas, but as forces to be reckoned with, able to endure the rigors of reality. Until the time is right, shield them. They are the embers that could ignite the blaze of your destiny. They are the silent anthems of aspiration, the unseen magic that propels you forward, destined to unfold in due course, at your command, under your control. 2. Your deficiencies and points of weakness. Every titan of industry, every legend who has walked the earth, carries within them an unseen battlefield where their greatest weaknesses lie in wait. Just as the mythical Achilles had his vulnerable heel, so too do we possess tender spots within our armor. These are not mere flaws, but hallowed ground within our character, deserving of our utmost discretion. Consider the words that echo from the Stoic philosopher Epictetus. Men are disturbed not by things, but by the views which they take of them. This suggests a profound truth. It is not the presence of vulnerabilities that shapes our destiny, but how we perceive and manage them. To be vulnerable is to be human, to have endured trials, weathered storms, and come away with wisdom etched into the very fabric of our being. These vulnerabilities should be acknowledged, yes, but they need not be put on display. To unveil them carelessly is to invite the untempered forge of public opinion to hammer upon them, potentially distorting our own perception and acceptance of these intimate truths. Our personal fragilities are not to be paraded for sympathy or validation, 
they are our own to contend with, to overcome, and to weave into the richer tapestry of our character. So guard them with the same vigilance as you would the most sacred of secrets. For in the handling of our vulnerabilities, with stoic grace, lies the unfathomable strength of character that defines the greatest among us. In the silent sanctuaries of our inner world, we confront our frailties. Acknowledging them in private is not a sign of evasion, rather, it is a strategic fortification. It is here, in solitude, where weaknesses may be forged into stepping stones towards personal evolution. The annals of history are replete with those who, in the knowledge of their own fragilities, have sculpted them into instruments of strength. Abraham Lincoln is one such titan, a man whose private battles with despair honed his profound empathy and leadership. Conversely, Julius Caesar serves as a somber reminder. His misplaced trust in those closest to him led to his demise. These tales from the past bring into focus a critical aspect of Stoicism, the judicious recognition and management of our own vulnerabilities. The modern chorus urges us to expose our entire selves to the world, to live with an open book. But there is profound might in mindful restraint. Embrace your vulnerabilities, nurture them in the quiet corners of your being, but do not feel compelled to lay them bare for public dissection. There is wisdom in preserving some chapters of your life's narrative as sacred texts shared with a select few, or perhaps with no one at all. Mystique, after all, has its charm and often true strength resides in the pages we choose to leave unturned. 3. The quiet wars you're engaging in. In the vast expanse of human experience, each man is an island, with silent wars raging beneath his stoic exterior. These internal conflicts are akin to the dark, unfathomed depths of the ocean, full of mystery and transformation. These struggles are formidable forces that temper our spirit, shaping our will with a craftsman's precision. The wisdom of Epictetus whispers to us from across the ages, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. This isn't a call to silence, but a call to discernment. It's a challenge to navigate the inner tumult with as much grace as we face the external world. The modern era tempts us to broadcast every skirmish of our daily lives, to lay bare our private wars on the altar of public consumption. Yet not every combat needs an audience. Not every internal duel demands witnesses. There is a sacredness in silent struggle, in choosing with whom and when to share the depths of our challenges. We are living in a time where the line between private and public is increasingly blurred by the lure of social media's siren song. Everyone seems to be sharing every facet of their lives, but the wise know the power of strategic concealment. Treasure your silent battles, they are the crucible of your strength, a personal testament to your tenacity and courage. Remember, as you walk through life, that the true measure of valor often goes unseen. The resonance of your private struggles may be lost on the unattuned ear. Not every confidant can fathom the complexity of your battles, and that's where the wisdom of Stoicism shines. It teaches us that the most profound transformations are often nurtured in the quiet refuge of our own souls, where the bravest warriors wage their most significant wars in profound solitude. 4. Your individual accomplishments and fortunes. In the tapestry of life, every achievement is a vibrant thread woven into the fabric of our character. While the world often shouts its triumphs from the rooftops, Stoicism teaches us the virtue of a more reserved celebration. The question then arises, why whisper when you could shout? The answer lies in the quiet confidence that comes from knowing your worth doesn't hinge on the applause of the masses. Sharing successes should be a selective process, a matter of discretion rather than impulse. It's about understanding that the true weight of your accomplishments is felt in the soul, not in the echoes of public chambers. The Stoic way isn't about diminishing joy, but about finding a joy that's not contingent on the fickleness of public opinion. When we quietly revel in our milestones, we become architects of an inner citadel, impervious to the shifting sands of societal praise and criticism. It's a practice echoed in the lives of many great men who understood that the brightest flames need not flicker at every wind. The narrative of Icarus serves not only as a cautionary tale about hubris, but also as a poignant metaphor for the personal downfalls that can come from a relentless pursuit of external validation. Thus, 
Embrace your victories, relish them, but let the depth of your pride be a personal affair. In doing so, you uphold the stoic ideal that true contentment comes from within and that the most resounding accolades are often those we grant ourselves in the solemnity of our inner thoughts. In the Stoics' view, there's a nuanced art to handling success. It's a delicate balance between honoring your hard work and not allowing it to define you in the eyes of others. This balance is not about diminishing your achievements, it's about enhancing them through the lens of humility. In an age where digital footprints are indelible and the world feels compelled to document every triumph, there's a rebellious dignity in choosing restraint. Stoicism invites us to take a different path, one where we absorb the essence of our achievements before even considering their announcement. The truest, most enduring form of fulfillment comes from within, untainted and pure, not needing the spotlight to confirm its worth. So the next time the summit is reached, pause. Let the moment resonate. Feel its depth, its real impact on your life's journey. And if you choose to share, do so with intention, with those who value the substance over the spectacle. This way, the tapestry of your life's work maintains its integrity, woven from threads of genuine accomplishment that need no external glow to be seen as valuable by the most critical observer, you. 5. Your upcoming objectives. The journey toward our future is often as important as the destination itself. In the Stoic practice, there's profound wisdom in navigating this path privately. Consider your plans as seeds. They need a protective cover of soil to germinate in darkness, away from the prying eyes of the world. Unveiling them too soon is like exposing these seeds to harsh elements before they're ready, potentially stunting their growth or leaving them vulnerable to the ravages of doubt and critique. Imagine your future endeavors as strategic moves in a grand game of chess. Revealing your strategy could compromise your play allowing others to anticipate and counteract your moves. Silence, in this sense, becomes your shield, preserving the potency of your plans until they're robust enough to stand against the winds of opposition and the scrutiny of the public eye. Remember, there is a time for planting and a time for harvesting. Between these two, there's a period of nurturing growth that often benefits from the protective embrace of silence. Embrace this period. Let your future plans unfold at their own pace allowing them to mature into the powerful realities they are meant to be. Your silence is not a void, it is a space filled with potential, waiting for the right moment to manifest into success. In this landscape of constant sharing and visibility, consider the strategic mastery of keeping your cards unseen. Think of the stoic chess player, calmly contemplating the board. His next move is a secret, his strategies are hidden, yet his eyes are firmly set on the endgame. The strength of his position lies in the unknown, in the moves that are felt but not seen, in the plans crafted in the quiet recesses of his mind. Howard Hughes, the enigmatic aviator and businessman, excelled in the art of secrecy. His projects, shrouded in mystery, unfolded on his terms, unsettling competitors and captivating the world. It was this veil of secrecy that allowed him to navigate the turbulent skies of both aviation and business with a maverick's freedom. Hughes's legacy is a testament to the advantage of silence. It teaches us that, in the absence of noise, our plans can ripen into their most potent form. By embracing this stoic approach, you create a buffer between your ambitions and the world's conjecture, allowing space for your plans to evolve without the distorting influence of outside opinion. And in the words of Seneca, it's about knowing your destination and harnessing the winds of fate to your advantage. Revealing your course prematurely can set you adrift, subject to the whims of every passing gust. So as you forge your path, remember that Stoicism advocates for a thoughtful reserve. It's not about secrecy for its own sake, but about the strategic and judicious control over the information you choose to release. In a society that prizes openness, there's a bold, quiet power in nurturing your ambitions in private. When you finally unveil your achievements, they emerge not as mere announcements, but as the grand reveal of a well-played game where every step was taken with intention and foresight. 6. The Doubting Whispers In the private chambers of your mind where the whispers of self-doubt like to roam, have you ever paused to question their purpose? Have you considered that these murmurs, 
Am I capable? What if I fail? Might actually be silent allies in disguise, pushing you towards greater self-awareness. Why do we often feel the urge to voice these uncertainties, seeking validation from others? Could it be that in the echoing halls of Stoic philosophy, we find a more potent truth? That silence is not merely the absence of sound, but a profound response in itself. How does one navigate the treacherous waters of self-doubt? Is it possible that by engaging these doubts in the quiet battleground of introspection, we might transform them into stepping stones toward growth? In today's world, where our innermost thoughts can be broadcast in an instant, isn't there unparalleled strength in turning inwards, in holding space for solitude? What if the truest act of bravery is to confront these internal adversaries alone, allowing the self to be both the battlefield and the peacemaker? Could it be that in mending the vulnerabilities of our spirit in private, we are actually preparing ourselves for a more triumphant sail, not in spite of the doubts, but because of the wisdom gained in overcoming them? 7. Your individual development. The sculptor and his marble serve as a fitting metaphor for personal growth, a silent, intimate art form where the subtle removal of excess shapes a masterpiece away from public gaze. Each private victory and internal lesson sculpts your character without the need for external validation. Like Michelangelo freeing David from the stone, your personal evolution is a solitary revelation of your truest self, not a spectacle for the crowd. Seneca's wisdom to keep learning how to live suggests growth is less about public disclosure and more about private recognition. The most authentic self-improvement is sculpted in quiet introspection, a process not for the applause of an audience but for the fulfillment of the soul. It's a stoic practice to value internal acknowledgement over external accolades, understanding that the true measure of progress is how we perceive and improve ourselves in the tranquility of our own minds. In the digital era, where life's canvas is often a public spectacle, the urge to chronicle every thought and triumph tempts us daily. Yet, pause and ponder. Is this for external validation or true connection? Consider the Stoics' view, as Marcus Aurelius reflected on transformation and opinion. Personal evolution is intimate, and while the world has countless opinions, they pale in comparison to the authenticity of your own journey. Silently navigating the personal odyssey often has more impact than broadcasting each pivot. Let the actions and results, the very essence of your evolved self, resonate louder than any proclamation. Like a silent vessel making its way through the vast sea, it's the arrival, not the fanfare of the journey that truly matters. Your transformation, your sculpture within, needs no constant spotlight to validate its worth. 8. Your individual complaints. In a world where grievances can become viral content, there's profound strength in the stoic approach to personal affronts. Have you ever noticed how sharing frustrations often amplifies them? Stoicism invites us to sift through our disgruntlements quietly, teaching us that inner calm is not the absence of disturbance, but the mastery of it. The stoic wisdom of Epictetus rings true. It's not things that upset us, but our judgment about things. Imagine for a moment the liberation in perceiving irritations as mere shadows that lose their power when faced with the light of our scrutiny. When we look inward and ask ourselves if a grievance truly holds weight, often we find it does not deserve the energy we're ready to give it. It's a skill to discern which battles are worth fighting and which are merely echoes of our pride or fear. As you navigate the sea of everyday annoyances, consider embracing the stoic vessel's course, steady, unswayed by the fleeting storms of irritation and quietly resilient. This is the mark of a man who is not only in control of his reactions, but also in command of his peace. Reflect on this. When grievances gnaw at us, what do we achieve by broadcasting them? Stoicism compels us to address our discontent with intention, not through public spectacle. Take, for instance, the long-standing feud between Edison and Tesla. Their rivalry was fueled by deep-seated grievances, and their war of currents spilled into the public domain. The consequence? A legacy tinged with bitterness, and innovations that could have been birthed from collaboration were instead marred by rivalry. In today's world, quick to share and quicker to judge, 
we're often pressured to expose our grievances as a form of release. Yet, Stoicism advises a different path. Confront issues internally, discern their roots, and respond with wisdom, not impulsiveness. When you encounter that sting of annoyance instead of lashing out, take a moment to reflect. Consider if voicing this grievance will alter the circumstances or merely feed the flames of discord. Embrace silence, not as a passive surrender, but as a strategic choice. The power of self-control and the tranquility that follows is a testament to true mastery over oneself. This is the stoic way, finding strength not in the clamor of confrontation, but in the quiet resolve to rise above. 9. The calm rise and fall of your feelings. Consider the majestic oak tree standing firm through the seasons, witnessing the cycles of nature, yet quietly enduring. Its roots are entrenched deep within the soil, embodying resilience. In much the same way, your emotions, rich, vibrant, and deeply personal, are like the seasons of the oak. They need not be displayed like autumn leaves in the wind, visible to all. There is profound strength in the silent acknowledgement of your feelings, allowing them the space to breathe and unfurl in their own time. In a world captivated by the spectacle of expression, the Stoic approach beckons us to a different path, one of introspection and measured revelation. Just as Marcus Aurelius poured his most profound emotions into the private pages of his meditations, we too can find value in this internal dialogue. His reflections were not intended for the public eye, but for his own. Guiding us by example to consider the merit in pausing and processing our emotions inwardly first. How often, amidst the rapid pulse of life, do we take a moment to truly understand our emotions before casting them into the open? The Stoic way teaches us to respect the depth of our feelings by first becoming their sole confidant. In our modern landscape, there's a race to broadcast reactions, to be the loudest voice in the room. Yet, is there not greater wisdom in the quietude that follows a storm, in the moments where we sit with our feelings, allowing them to marinate, to settle into the fabric of our being. This is not a call for emotional detachment, but rather for a more deliberate connection with ourselves. The stoic practice is not one of indifference, but of discernment. Not every wave of emotion needs to crash loudly upon the shores of public forums. Some waves are better left to roll quietly back into the ocean of our inner world, allowing us to navigate through our emotions with the kind of profound clarity that only solitude can provide. So. When emotions rise like the tide, consider giving them room to ebb and flow within the privacy of your own mind. After all, these experiences are your personal passages through the ever-changing tapestry of life. Not every chapter of your voyage requires an audience. Some chapters gain their true value when journeyed in the quiet company of one's own soul. Ready to be shared only when your spirit finds it fitting. 10. The Attraction of Too Much Comfort the lure of comfort, the siren call that tempts us to remain within the well-trodden paths of our daily lives, is a powerful one. Yet, there's a profound strength that comes from silently stepping beyond these bounds, from seeking the heat of the forge rather than the warmth of the hearth. This is the path less lauded, but often more transformative. Consider the unspoken valor in quietly embracing the discomfort of a cold shower, the discipline of a pre dawn run, or the austerity of a simple meal. In these moments, the temptation to proclaim our ventures can be strong. Social media beckons. The world waits to like our efforts. But Stoicism teaches us the virtue of reticence, the value of allowing our actions to speak solely to ourselves, not for the chorus of approval. When you next find yourself at the crossroads of comfort and challenge, remember that your greatest strides are made in solitude. As the Stoics did before us, we find authenticity not in the accolades we receive, but in the silent affirmation of our spirit. As Marcus Aurelius might urge, let your actions be for progress, not for show. In the records of time, we find characters like Alexander the Great, who, despite his empire and treasures, chose the austerity of a soldier's life over the opulence of a king's court. His choice to sleep on hard ground, to share his men's meals, was a private exercise in character, a conscious resistance to the seductive embrace of excess. This historical anecdote serves not as a call to asceticism, 
but as a reminder that in our modern lives, we face our own empires of comfort. The lure of ease is a test of character in and of itself. Our contemporary luxuries could easily lull us into complacency, yet it's the personal unspoken trials that fortify us. These silent victories are not for the world to witness or applaud, they're for the soul's fortitude, for our personal narrative. So, while the world hastens to indulge, let us find valor in the unseen, in the modest resistances we uphold daily. Allow yourself the occasional retreat into simplicity, into the less comfortable aspects of existence. It is within these moments, these chosen privations, that we often encounter the most profound growth. Remember, the most remarkable transformations are not heralded by fanfare, but are forged in the quiet recesses of daily life. Thanks for being with us today. Your encouragement is the key reason we can share interesting ideas everywhere. If you have any subjects or ideas you would like us to cover, please let us know in the comments. Your ideas inspire us to keep providing deep insights. If you liked our video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Together, we'll continue to spread the light of knowledge.